Have you ever had a performance review or a 360 feedback or a development conversation where you got the feedback that you just weren't strategic? Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey. And if you're like me, you find feedback like that so infuriating. In fact, I think somebody telling you that you need to be more strategic is not really more helpful than saying you need to be more, I don't know, groovy or more purple or more now. What do any of those things mean? And what are you supposed to do with it? How frustrating when somebody says you can't get the promotion you want or you can't get assigned to the cool projects you want because you're not strategic. But when you ask, well, what would that look like? Or what does that mean? They're like, I don't know. You just need to be more strategic. Ugh. All right. I am here to give you some clarity to be more specific about what does that actually mean and a little bit more practical about what can you do differently that's going to change how you're perceived and get you those plum opportunities that you're looking for. The first thing you need to do is actually stop making contributions that people perceive as the opposite of strategic or kind of anti-strategic. And that's making contributions that people view as really tactical. So that's the first place to start is actually just stop getting minuses in your column for being tactical. So what does that look like? Tactical people are often people who talk about what is rather than what could be. And particularly this may be hitting you hard if there are other folks on your team who are talking about, wow, imagine if we could do this. They're putting out all these hypothetical situations and your response to those is to come back to how the world is today. You go from the abstract and you make it concrete again. You go from something future oriented and you bring it back to the present. That's gonna feel like you are yanking them back into something very tactical. That's not gonna help with your perceptions of being strategic. Really starting to reduce the number of times or, or things that you jump in with that are about how the world is. Another thing that you wanna do is not be so in internally focused. People who are talking about how the organization runs, focus on operations or processes or all those sorts of things tend to be perceived as tactical versus the people who are talking about the markets and the customer and how the industry is changing. Those people are perceived as more strategic. So you want to have fewer contributions to the conversation that are about things happening internally. I find people who are perceived as not very strategic are often responsible responding to uh, other people's ideas with, but, but this, or but that, or but we tried that in 2002, or but it won't work because of this. Just the word but in and of itself can really brand you as somebody who sort of kills strategy, who you know ruins the mojo of a strategic conversation. So you wanna watch out for but. Another one is that it, instead of looking at opportunities and threats, you're constantly talking about strengths and weaknesses, but we're no good at that, or we don't do that, or we're, we're we're so amazing at this, we just need to keep doing this. Those kinds of things. When a conversation is about possibility, you are bringing it back to reality. That's another way of thinking about it as well. Strategic is really about diverging, understanding what the options are and how you could differentiate, whereas tactical is more about converging. So if you're somebody who tends to bring the conversation back in, you're gonna be perceived as more tactical. So now that we've talked about this, things that you can do a lot less of, let's talk about the things you need to do more of. So it's not enough to just not be uh, unstrategic. You actually need to make contributions that will have you be perceived as, oh, okay, you're contributing in a strategic way. So first, lengthen your time horizon. So tactical people are often talking about right here, right now. Strategic people are talking about next quarter, next year, where things are going. So the more that you can pull out and have your attention, your questions and your contributions be about things outside of the sort of very present window. And I just gave you another secret right in there, which is that you're making more questions, asking questions, as opposed to making assertions or statements. Strategic people kind of open things up with questions and possibility and speculation and wondering, whereas tactical people are perceived as, as you know, knowing what things are and being more definitive.
negative. Other things, understanding how your business and your competitor's business makes money. And there are so many examples of places where the business makes money in different ways than you necessarily know. I always think about Starbucks and you know, you think about how much you're paying for a latte and think, well, there must be a lot of profit there. But you're not thinking about the fact that every time I load $25 onto my Starbucks card, all of a sudden they're becoming a bank, earning a ton of interest on the money I'm loaning them until I want my next beverage. Hmm, fascinating. But understanding that, understanding how you make money and understanding how maybe your customers are making money in different ways. The really famous one that happened for a lot of organizations is companies that used to sell product and all of a sudden their customers were selling subscriptions. Very different. And the more you understand that, the more you understand what the possibilities are and where disruption might come from. Another one along the same vein is understanding the big macro trends happening in our economy. There are many, many, many things that are going, cutting across industries, cutting across parts of the world. They're just macro trends that are important to business, like verticalization, where companies that used to secure supply from others are now actually building those things themselves. So they're not dependent on anyone else or don't have to pay, pay margin to those people. That's an interesting trend. We have this, I've mentioned it already, the subscription kind of mega trend. We're moving from product sales into subscriptions. It's very different. I, I buy the right to have this all the time. I don't rent one DVD anymore. I pay for Prime or Netflix so that I can watch as many movies as I want. So these sorts of macro trends, and those are just a couple of examples, but those kinds of macro trends and understanding them helps you ask, how would that be affecting our role? What's going on here? If you're in HR, understanding how the gig economy I mean, is really radically changing the employment relationship. So understanding what are some of the big macro trends is also a very useful way to contribute something of strategic value onto your team. There are many, many, many others, but essentially what you're trying to do is make connections, reflect on what's going on in the world, particularly what's going on outside of the organization, then to make connections among those sorts of things. And the other thing I'll say is that strategic people make tough choices. If you show that you listen, that you anticipate, that you can envision different possible futures, and you're willing to change your opinion, you're not wedded to it or so egotistical that you think that your way of looking at the situation is the only way. But if you demonstrate that you're willing to, to change your approach, change your position or, or how you're thinking about something, it's another way to show that you make strategic choices based on evidence. You're not just somebody who's got a bunch of opinions that they throw out and, and really just act in the moment. That's gonna certainly have your brand be more as a tactical person than as a strategic person. So if you have heard this infuriating feedback that you're just not strategic enough, I get why you would be really infuriated. The good news is there are things you can do to be seen as less tactical and also things you can do to show that you do have those strategic chops. You can think big, think about the art of the possible. Give them a try. Let me know in the comments how it goes. I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, here to help you get the team that you deserve. Thanks so much for tuning in and check out my other videos for how to's on dealing with some of the situations that come up when we're trying to make teamwork work.